From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. We'll go to Wednesday morning South Plains. We've been pretty warm over the past several days, and it looks like those trends will continue throughout our Wednesday afternoon. The reason why is we have a high pressure system down to our south and west that will continue to move into our region, bringing those unseasonably warm temperatures to the South Plains. We kind of have what we call a split flow with colder air to the north, a little bit more of that subtropical jet stream in our region, bringing in that warmer air colder on off to our east. But it looks like that warmer air will eventually begin to move out of our region in post this morning, though a calm start here along US Highway 84 traffic pretty calm there this morning. And again, looks like it will remain that way over the next couple of hours or so. Now, those winds today are going to be a little gusty at times out of the west, upwards of 40 miles per hour throughout the day and even the overnight hours. So that's why we have an elevated risk for fire weather over western portions of Gaines County back through Lee County, New Mexico for both today and tomorrow. So outdoor burning in those regions will not be advised. But for today, what will be advised is getting outside and just enjoying that warmer air. We're talking record highs today in the city of Lubbock with highs in the lower 80s. 81 is what this model shows for the hub city. 82 in Matador, 77 in Dimmit, and 78 degrees for a daytime high in Morton. Just for reference, we should be around 56 degrees. That's our average high for this time of year. So we're talking about 24 degrees above average for today. Our record, in fact, is 80 degrees set back in 1934. So if we hit that mark today, we will tie our record set almost 100 years ago, and this will be the warmest that we've been since the middle of November of last year. Now, when we take a look at our forecast for tomorrow, we are going to see a cold front move through our area. That cold front is going to bring in some breezier conditions and some colder air, but we will begin to warm up. Notice the oranges and reds here by this weekend into Monday. Return to the area looking like highs back into the 60s near 70, but this strong Arctic air mass will plunge through our area, bringing that well below average temperature trend back into our region and some cold northerly winds as well. Notice below average over the next six to 10 days for much of the lower 48, with the exception of the desert southwest. Now for the city of Lubbock today, we'll top out near 80. Tomorrow will be around 58 degrees. What's going to happen throughout the day on Thursday? A cold front's going to push through, so our northern zones will likely be in the upper 40s and southern zones in the middle to upper 60s. So we're going to see quite the range in temperatures for Thursday. More sunshine for the weekend, though. A little cool highs ranging from the mid 50s to low 60s. But next week, Kathleen, you and I are not going to be happy campers here because the mornings temperatures are going to be down into the teens with fill like temperatures in the single digits. And that high there on Tuesday, only 40 degrees. Yeah, I think we're uh, kind of getting spoiled this week, and Ugh. next week is just going to be our uh, smack back to reality. You know, for sure. I'm kind of aggravated with Mother Nature because we love the warmer weather. At least you and I both yes. do, but it's just going to make it so much harder to get through the rest of winter. It definitely is.